right? Shalom, Shalom Israel. Atazo, I'm coming at you guys with a quick video. Topic of today is going to be why Edom is rejected, right? But first and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, right? That's a call her law to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's giving all praises uh, to God in the name of his only begotten son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, right? And we're going to hop right into it, right? This is the book of Romans, chapter 15, and verse 4. And it reads, for whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. So all these things in the scripture were written for our learning, right? So we could go back into the curses and figure out that we are the children of Israel, that we are God's chosen people. And we could read our, about our promises and what our forefathers had did to go off and why we in a position that we are today. We could read about why this nation of Edom, this nation that God said is the weakest nation of all, right? And, um... Why they are on top of us, right? And why they're 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 ruling the world and why they doing the things that they're doing. We could go back and read and find out who they are through the similitudes that the Lord had put in uh into the scriptures so for us to figure out. Remember, because the Lord's not gonna be oh the nation of Edom, they're gonna call themselves so called white people, they're gonna have live in a land called Italy, Russian, German. That are, that's not gonna be in here, man. Right? Cause all these things were written thousands of years ago. Right, but we know through similitudes that these things are gonna fit the nation of Edom regardless. Just like the curses, they're they fit us through generation to generation. Right, if this world so happens to go another uh, hundred years, our our kids, right, um, no matter what, are gonna fit these curses. Right, and it's same with the nation of Edom. Right, <clears throat> that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Right, so through the patience, as we learn and learn, learn who we are, we might have hope through patience of the scriptures. Okay, Yahweh Shai is bound to come. Okay, we went and we see the prophecies uh, coming to pass, and we know, okay, Yahweh Shai is about to come, make his coming. Right, we have, we, this is what we do. Uh, you know, we're gonna daily examine ourselves, um, work and get the kingdom. Right, pray, fast, read, and and do our best through the Spirit to uh, worship Yahweh uh, Yahweh Shai and keep His commandments the best we can. And, and study up, right, until he comes, right? So we have great patience and hope through the scriptures to know that, okay, this is promised, the kingdom, the uh, the rule over these nations forever and ever, you know, things like that, man, right? I could go on and on and on, right? But right now, we, we talking about the nation of Edom, right? And who they are, right? We already know who they are. And for those who, if y'all knew, the nation of Edom is every so-called white man, on this planet, man, whether he's the Italians, Russians, Germans, Australians, um, whatever, American whites, Canadians, and whatever, it don't matter. Wherever the so-called white man is, he's, it doesn't matter. He's a, a so-called Edomite, right? That's his biblical nationality. He's going to get judgment as a nation, right? So what we're going to learn today is why he was rejected, right? So this is the book of Genesis chapter 27, in verse 38, and Esau said unto his father, Hast thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, O my father. And Esau helped, and Esau lifted up his voice and wept. And Isaac, right? So there go Esau, what? Weeping again, man. That's what Esau do best. Don't he, you know, don't these Edomites weep in court? Oh, 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 you know. And, and you got Jake, Coon Jake, rubbing, rubbing Edom, uh, Esau hair, man. Brushing her hair, telling it's okay, baby, I'm going to pray for you. I'm a Christian. I believe in white Jesus and and um you're gonna be forgiven. It's okay. I wish you the best. Man, don't don't that happen, man. Right? So here go Esau again crying out, right? And Isaac his father answered and said, Behold, I mean said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling place shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above. Right? So right here we're gonna peep or peep this, right? Because we're gonna read and um we're going to read later in the precepts how this was, uh, this is a blessing now in a way, but a curse at the same time, right? Just like uh, the commandments we was keeping is a curse and a blessing. Had the Lord said in the book of Deuteronomy, a, a, a blessing if you keep, a, a, a curse if you don't, right? So we know that this is a blessing and a curse for Esau as well, right? So right now he has the best. He's going to live the best on the earth is what he's saying. The fatness of the earth, he's going to live the best no matter where he goes. So who's living the best no matter what land you're in? Even in the land of Africa, the so-called white man, um, the land of Ham, Salakia, um, which is what we know now as Africa, 
so-called white men is living lavish over there, right? And literally, um, less than a mile away, you see pictures how it's mansions and and in un, in ground pools, right? And then uh, tents where the land uh, the Hamites is living, right? Right? And some Jake too, man, because we know we scattered abroad, right? And by thy sword shalt thou live, right? Oh, uh, Salakia. Let me go back. Behold, thy dwelling place shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above. So, man, Esau will sell you the damn water. You can't even collect rainwater because it's illegal, right? So Esau owns the damn skies. You can't even drink the water that falls freely from the sky, right? He has planes. He's bombing um the the Ishmaelites, what we know as the um, the the Arabs, man. He's bombing. He's bomb bombing them and Palestine from from miles and miles and miles away. Right, with just one missile, bombing hospitals and 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 uh, killing kids and schools and stuff like that. Right, so Esau owns the damn skies. Right, <clears throat> and what else? And by thy sword shalt thou live, man. We know, eat no matter what nation Esau is, whether it's the Russians, the Italians, the British, right, the Germans. Esau has the best armies, hands down. Right, ain't no Moab got got a chance with Esau, man. Right, especially if every Edomite. Nation came together. What what nation is gonna stop Edom, man? Right? Didn't the Lord just gave him, um, gave him the gave him the world, right? And we know who 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 wants the world, man. Satan, right? That's Job. That's simple, you know. Job nine and twenty four, man. Every brother knows that precept, right? <clears throat> and by thy sword shalt thou live, and shall serve thy brother, right? And we know this is a future prophecy. Thou shalt serve thy brother. What? All right, all right, all right. Well, tell Grandma. All right, Salakia, man. All right, we're going to focus on the word. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3. This is the book of e Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, and verse 15. That which has been is now, and that which is to be hath already been, and Yahweh requires that which is past. So the Most High requires that which is uh, which is past, man. So we know that Esau, right? He messed up in his past, just like how our forefathers messed up in our um in the past, and we have to pay, right? The so-called Edomites have to pay as well, right? We know really it's it's everything's written of the Most High. Everything is written aforetime, right? So we know really it's the Most High. But why did the Most High reject him? All right, well, y'all got to wait, right? So we know everything that was written. Pat, close the door. You got to wait. Okay. So everything that was written before, it, uh, it has to happen now, man, right? So Esau messed up in his past life, right? So if you, you, if you knew and you don't know, what do you mean past life, right? We lived a thousand times before, man, right? Maybe not a thousand, but we lived before, right? We are our forefathers. That's why we have to pay for the sins that we committed or, or our forefathers committed. Right, because we we're getting judgment as a nation, just like Edom and all the other nations have to get judgment as a nation. We have to get our judgment as a nation. That's why we still fit these curses today, generation after generation, because we are our forefathers and we have to uh, live for our sins that we have committed. Right? Some people that might fly over your head, all oh, that's BS, da da da. But whatever, man. If you got ears to hear, right? Let's get that in the Book of Revelation. No, no, no. It's the Book of Revelation. Chapter 22 and verse 11. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. So Esau, man, he's filthy from the beginning, right? That's in the book of Hebrews, right? At least there be any fornicator or profane person that's Esau, right? So there is no body more filthy and more disgusting than a so-called uh, so white man, right? These Edomites are disgusting, right? They want to hate on Jake and want to be Jake. Right? They want to uh, spread pedophilia, homosexuality, right? They just love that homosexuality. You know, that's at an all-time high, right? And, and they just unfilthy and, and unjust. Just how they were in the past, they are now. It's in a spirit. It running a iniquity, running a blood. That's why the Lord said in the book of Malachi, chapter 1, he said they are the border of wickedness, right? Let him be filthy still, and he that is righteous, let him be righteous still, and he that is holy, let him be holy still, man. Right? That's talking about um that's talking about um Israel, man. Twelve tribes. We the only ones able to be holy and keep these commandments. Right? It's in our spirit. Right? It's in our spirit to worship Yahweh Bashin Yahshai. Right? 
So let's go back to the book of Genesis. Because we got to ask ourselves, where did, where did he mess up? You know, where did he, where did he mess up that, 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 that made him, you know, the Lord brought him back, named him Esau. And, and, um, and this man was, was hated, right? By the most high. This is the book of, of Genesis chapter four and verse, uh, two. And she again bare his brother Abel and Abel was a keeper of the, sh of sheep, but Cain was a tiller of the ground. And in process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground and offering unto the Lord. So, man, they, they, you know, you don't need to read it to know that they were keeping a commandment. Why do you think they were even uh, bringing up offerings unto the Lord? Why? Because they were keeping the commandment uh, back in the time of Genesis, man. They were keeping the commandment, right? So when uh, where, where Cain and Abel, they knew what they had to do. Right, they knew the offering that the Lord required. Right, but let's well, let's read what happened. Cain brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto the Lord. So Cain he decided instead of hey, let me instead of me following the rules what the Most High said, let me instead of me keeping the commandments, let me bring him fruit instead. Right, and Abel he also brought of the first things of his flock and of the fat thereof, and the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offering, but unto Cain and to his offering he had not respect. And Cain was very wroth, and his countenance fell. So he said Cain was very wroth, man. You know, he wasn't a little upset. He wasn't sad. He wasn't crying, you know. He wasn't just sitting there. Hmm. No, man, he was very wroth, man. He was probably punching on the trees, right, stomping out lamb or something. You know, he's probably choking out his animals in the farm, right. So he was very wroth, man. He's probably cursing up the most high, man. I'm not even going to say what he was probably saying to the most high. Right? He's probably saying F this and F that. Man, I hate this. I hate that. Probably slicing the animals up. Man, this man was very wroth, man. Right? And the Lord said unto Cain, Why art thou wroth? And why is thy countenance fallen? If thou doest well, shall thou not be accepted? Right? So he's saying... He said, if thou do, if, you know, if thou do as well, won't, won't you be accepted? Right? If you keep, if you keep my commandments and tell you and, and, and do what I tell you to do, you know, won't you be accepted just like your brother? Right? And if thou do as not well, sin lieth at the door and unto thee shall be his desire and thou shall rule over him. Right? So that sin, that iniquity, right, is going to rule over you. Right, you're gonna you're gonna be a man of, of sin and iniquity, right? This is what the most high was telling him, man. Sin lieth at the door. And you know what 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 brings forth sin, man? Sin equals death, right? So let's 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 read on. And Cain talked with Abel his brother, and it came to pass when they were in the field that Cain rose up against Abel his brother and slew him. Right? So that's what that's what Esau do to um that's what the so-called Edom uh so-called white man do to uh, Israel right now, man. Right? So-called black, Hispanics, and Native American. He rise up against us and slay us every day in these streets, man. That's why the Lord said um, in the book of Ecclesiastes 3 and 15, that which has been is is now and that which is to be have been in Yahweh requires that was um, that was past, right? Uh, power phrasing, right? So the Lord requires that what happened in the past to happen now, right? And look what's going on. Right, this is just the way the Lord wrote his storybook, right? He that is unjust, let him be unjust still, man. He that is filthy, let him be filthy still. Right? So Esau is this filthy murderer, right? This pedophile homosexual man. This this man rose up against um rose up against a, a just man who, who had done nothing to him, right? Right? What what the hell have we ever done against the so called white man? Right? Let's get another precept. Right? Because we, we gotta we gotta keep it we gotta keep it going through the spirit. Right? We gotta we gotta get the breakdown, you know, because everybody knows why the nation of Edom is, you know, who the who the nation of Edom is. Everybody knows all that. Right? But we gotta get through the precepts of why they were, they are rejected. Cause it seems like man, Jake can't get it through their damn skull of that why this nation is rejected. Oh, why, why God don't do this, why God don't do that, man. All right, let's get it in the book of Malachi. Right, just to find out that the Lord did it because He wants to, you know. That's how the Lord made it. It's the Book of Malachi, chapter one and verse two, chapter one and verse one. 
the burden of the the burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, saith the Lord. Yet ye say, Wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith the Lord? Yet I loved Jacob, and I hated Esau, and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Right? So don't the Lord call him that 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 serpent, that dragon, right? That wicked man, right? So he's saying that I, I laid his heritage for for just sin and iniquity. You know, this is their this is their lot, right? Just to be that nation of 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 the most disgusting sin, right? I laid his heritage for 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 the most uh for iniquity, man, right? And let's read why. Whereas Enam saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, right? They shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness, and a people against whom the Lord hath indignation forever. There is no chance for Edom. You know, this white Jesus, it don't matter. They come down and kiss and clean every everybody foot, right? It don't matter if they give us, if they make every Jake rich and make us the president and put themselves in chains right now. For 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 a thousand plus years, there is no there is no um there is no mercy for the nation of Edom, man. Right, and it's written already. Right, the Lord said, "And the people whom against the Lord hath indignation forever." And the Lord does not change, man. The Lord hates every so called white man, and they will get judgment. It doesn't matter if you ninety nine or nine. Right, it doesn't matter if you one hundred or just one years old. Right, though you will get your judgment as a nation. Right, and that's hard for people to accept. Oh, that's a baby. That's just an old man. It does not matter, man, because he had a past life and he was wicked and he had done unto Jake, right? Uh, wickedness, right? It don't matter. Though they will get their judgment as a nation, right? And your eyes shall see, and ye shall say, the Lord will be magnified from the border of Israel, right? So the Lord said, you will see that I'm gonna bring down Edom, right? This wicked ass nation that loves homosexuality. You are gonna see how I break them down. Right, you will see that, right? And you're gonna magnify my name, just how the Lord done to unto Egypt, right? He he hardened uh, Pharaoh's heart, right? So he can what? Uh, mag so Israel can magnify so you can magnify his name, right? He said, okay, you know, I couldn't have him set you guys free, but not yet. I have cr I have more plagues I'm gonna set upon Egypt, right? Black darkness so so damn dark you could feel it, right? You could feel the damn darkness. Right, kill all the firstborn. Right, turn the water blood, or we'll turn the water into blood. Right, this is the things that Lord, the Lord do to magnify His name for who? For the children of Israel. Right, because He, well, He wants nothing but our praise. Right, our worship, our our loyalty. Right, because remember we're married to the Most High. Right, the Lord said, um, Israel, my, Israel is my son, yea, even my firstborn. <laughs> right, so let's get let's get more precepts. Damn, I left my my damn my po I left my pocket for, but it's okay. All right, let's just skip to the next precept. All right, and the verse I was gonna get out, brothers want to get it out. All right, First Maccabees one and verse seven through nine. All right, easy precept. All right, Slacky, let's get it in the book of Hebrews though, chapter twelve. Right, in verse 16, least there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, for who one morsel of me sold his birthright. For ye know how that afterward he would have inherited the blessing. He was rejected, for he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. Then remember I told you God, did he go crying out and to, oh, Father, has there one blessing for me? You know, crying out, right? He may, he has no place of repentance, man. So if you have no place of repentance unto the Lord, right, and the Lord called you the border of wickedness and he hates you, what is he going to do to you, right? He's going to do to you what you've done unto the children of Israel, right? But 10 times worse, right? You're the border of wickedness. The Lord hates sin. The Lord said, I am angry with the wicked every day, right? So the Lord is going to do what, right? The Lord is going to kill the nation of Edom, man. He's going to kill every single Edomite, right? And save some for, for, for guess what, for shackles and chains, man, right? Because they're going to have to pay us back for that bondage. Just the book of Psalm chapter 7 and verse 11. 
Yahweh judges the righteous and Yahweh is angry with the wicked every day. If he turn not, he will wet his sword. He hath bent his bow and made it ready. He hath also prepared for him the instruments of death. He ordineth his he ordaineth his arrows against the prosecutors. Right? We know the prosecutors is Esau, man. Right? The the Lord is bent his bent his bow. What is that bow? He's he's aiming the missiles. He has the missiles ready to destroy the nation of of Edom, man. The so called white man in America. He is ready to destroy the the daughter of Babylon, Babylon the Great, man. He is ready to destroy this wicked ass place off the face of the earth. Right? He has, if he turn not, he will wet his sword. He had bent his bow and made it ready. He had also, I mean, he also. It's like he hath also prepared for him the instruments of death. He ordained his arrows against the prosecutors, man. Right? You can't make this stuff up. You cannot make this stuff up. Right? Let's go to the book of Samuel. So the Lord has straight judgment for the nation of Edom. Why? Because he set the nation of Edom up, right, to destroy, to magnify his name and to free Israel. Right? This world, our life is a storybook unto the Most High. This is just how the Most High read it, uh, wrote his story, all right? And who the hell are we to, to say that's not right, you know? The book of Proverbs, uh, 1 Samuel chapter 24 and verse 13, as saith the proverb of the ancients, wickedness proceeded from the wicked, but mine hand shall not be upon thee, right? So wickedness proceeded from the wicked. That mean when you get, when you have wicked people, guess what? As they children proceed on and generation after generation, guess where you're going to get more wickedness. And that's what you get from, from the nation of Edom. Isn't sodomy at an all time high, right? You, you couldn't have been, a, there was no such thing as a tranny in the eighties. No such thing as a tranny in the seventies and, and so on and so on. Not even in the nineties was such thing as a damn tranny. You never see no damn tranny in homosexual cartoons and, and 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 these damn fruits on 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 uh freaking books, man. Right? Getting getting rights to use the same bathroom and play the same sports. Cause you cause you're a grown ass man and you feel like a woman and get your hair done and wear a skirt and wear makeup. Now now you're a so called woman now. Only in Babylon the Great, man. From the wicked proceeded wickedness, man. And that's why the Lord said He's gonna destroy this nation from off the face of the earth. And you don't get that but from the nation of Edom, right? Let's get the book of Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 4. The Lord hath made all things for himself. Yeah, even the wicked for the day of evil. Right? So the, so the Lord made evil. Right? He made, just like he made angels on the right hand side to do his, uh, to, to worship him. Right? And to be a vessels unto honor. He made Esau, right? And, and Satan and, and uh, the demons on the left hand side to do what? To, uh... To, you know, to tempt Jake, you know, to, uh, for Esau to, to, to be in power, man, right? Just how he wrote his story, to destroy them, to magnify his name. The Lord made this nation the wicked. He made them wicked to destroy, to magnify his name at the end of the day. There is no saving no, the nation of Edom. Whoever they are, whoever you want them to be, whoever Edom is, and we already know who Edom is, right? It's not a damn secret. They're finished, man. They're done. Their judgment is written in this book thousands of years ago. And there ain't no changing it, man. You could change Jesus to a white man. You could change him into a, a damn a cloud of smoke if you wanted to. But guess what? Your judgment is written already. Right? Let's get more. The book of Sirach. I'm going to just read it from off my notebook because I don't got my, my apographer with me. Sirach chapter 39 and verse 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes, right? There be there's spirits that's created for vengeance, man. So like I said, he creates all things for himself, right? Even the even the wicked for the day of evil, right? So the Lord made even uh wicked spirits, right? He made he made Satan to be to to do his work on the left hand side. You know, Satan didn't damn fall out from heaven because he rebelled. And that's, that's BS, man. That's bull spit, right? That, that's Christianity doctrine. That's not in the scripture. The Lord made all things for himself, man, right? He got these evil spirits to what? Have Jake get drunk and crash the car, 
have Drake do a drive, uh, have have people do a drive by and get uh, and get killed, get raped. That's their that's their job, right? That's how the Lord made it, right? The Lord said an unjust balance is an abomination, right? Let's get the Book of Romans chapter nine. Get the Book of Romans chapter nine and verse eleven. Matter of fact, verse 10, and not only this, but when Rebekah also had conceived by one, even by our father Isaac, for the children not being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of Yahweh according to election might stand, not of works, but of him that call it. So not because of what he has done, right? And as, as, as Esau, right? Not because of that, but because the Lord had chose. Right, because the Lord has chosen, it, right? It was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger, right? And we know what he said, and thou shalt serve thy brother, right? And then as it is written, right, in Malachi, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with Yahweh? Yahweh forbid. So he's saying, you know, what shall we say then? Because the Lord hates Esau. Right, and he and he made Esau to hate him. Why is there? A, is he yeah, the most high and righteous? God forbid, man. Right? For why? For he saith unto for saith unto Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So the Lord said, I will have mercy and compassion on whoever I want. And who did He choose to have mercy on? The elect, right? The multitude that's in His truth and that's going to be saved unto uh, and get the kingdom of heaven. Israel, point blank, period. Is a vessel unto honor. Right? Let's read that in the book of um twenty, in the book of Romans chapter nine, verse twenty. Nay, but O man, who art thou that replies against the most high? Shall the thing formed say to him that formed it, Why hast thou made me thus? Right? So does you know why you playing GTA? Does your character turn around to the screen and face you and say, Hey man, why you keep having me kill these cops? And getting me killed, and why you keep flying, crashing me into the plane with the, uh, crashing me into shit with the building, man? I mean, with the damn plane and killing me all these damn times, right? Why I gotta rob this bank over and over again and get killed and shot? No, man, right? Cause he has no control over what he do. Just how the Most High, right? He made things unto honor, unto dishonor, man, right? This is the Lord's storybook, and your your arms not long enough to box with the Most High. So the Lord made this Edom, this nation of Edom to destroy it at a certain time and magnify his name. They have a certain time period where they're going to rule and be destroyed. And there's nothing nobody could do about it, right? Have not the power, powder, power over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor? So the Lord said, don't, don't people make things to, to say I like that and don't people sell the other? I'm like, nah, I, I don't like that. You can just throw that in the trash. Leave it in, leave it in a, the closet somewhere and it don't matter while they show the other one off. That's what the Lord is saying, man. Right? Who are you to who are you to, to ask me what am I doing? Right? Who 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 are you? Right? These are my creations and this is what I choose to do with it. Right? So it's all oh, my mom's my mom's white and are you telling me she can't get salvation? That's not fair. Da, da, da. I can't worship a God like that. Well, that's why the Lord said for you not even to uh, mingle with these nations. Because now you have said your mom is an Edomite and she's a damn heathen to the Lord and the Lord hates her. And now you butt her because your dad is a your dad is a Jake. You're Israel, but your mom can't be saved. And you butt her about it. You got family members that's that's an Edomite and that and that's Indian and, and that's all these other nations. And and you might be Israel and you mad about it. Well, well, oh, well, man, who the hell are you to to reply against the most high? Right. Let's go to the book of Proverbs, chapter 11, and verse 1. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 11, and verse 1. A false balance is abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. Right? So, a just, unjust balance. So, what if the Lord chose to love everybody? Would that make any sense? Right? Would it make any sense for a nation to put another nation to the slavery all these years? Um, take away their nationality, right? Take everything from them. But as long as you believe in him and the most high, you could get the kingdom of heaven. While we living in here dirt poor and got shit, 
We don't got a we don't got a damn pot to piss in, right? Don't even our nationality people out here. What's your nationality, brother? I'm a Christian, right? We using a religion as a as a nationality, man. You think the Lord is gonna forgive people like that? Nah, man. The whole nation got to go, right? Living on stolen land, right? Governing a land that's not yours, right? The Lord has laws against that. Right, so he said a, a false balance is an abomination. So when you have righteousness, you have to have wickedness. You got right, uh, angels on the right hand side. You got angels on the left hand side to do good you, and, and to do bad. That's how the Lord made it, man. Right? Let's get the book of Daniel chapter 4. This is the book of Daniel chapter 4 and verse 17. <clears throat> this matter... Is by the decree of the watchers, and he demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men. So the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men. Oh, why they ruling over us? That ain't fair, man. Why the most high don't come down to do it now? Why we can't be free right here in this earth? Right here. If if God want me to worship him, he uh He'll make me rich in this earth because I ain't got nothing. Ah. And Jake like to complain and bitch and moan, man. Right? But the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men. And he give it to whoever the hell he want to give it to. To the intent that the living may know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men. And give it to whomsoever he will. And set it up over it the base, the basis of men. So the Lord give the kingdom to whoever he want to give it to. Right, if the Lord want another Barack Obama to rule this uh, this this damn Babylon the Great, another ba another damn Barack Obama is gonna rule, man. Right, the Lord, the Most High, your vote don't count. Everything's of the Most High. Jake wanna say who you voting for? You know, we're promising stimulus check, man. Effort stimulus check, man. Right, chase the spiritual riches. Where your spiritual riches at? Right, for what shall a man ga uh, gain if he lose his own soul? Right, right. So let's 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 keep it going in the book of Daniel chapter eight. Right, so the eight, the wicked is ruined because the Lord says so. Right, Daniel chapter eight. This is the back of Daniel chapter seven. The book of Daniel chapter eight and verse twenty five. And through his policy also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand, and he shall magnify himself in his heart. And by peace shall destroy many. So don't Esau do that, man? He magnified he magnify his craft. Let's read that again. Right? And through his policy, also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand. Right? To do his laws. Right? Oh, if, if you're caught with drugs in a school zone, you get your, your punishment two times worse. Right, and then put a put a school uh in, in damn near every hood, right, or, or close to the hood. So so knowing that he pumping drugs in um in, in the ghettos and the slums, Jake is gonna get caught with the drugs and get even more time in his in his in his jails, so he can make money off of free labor off of Jake modern day slavery, right? And, and in school zones and 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 prosper because as long as the Jake is sin is in sin, he can't worship the Most High, and the Most High is not gonna hear us. Right, so he puts pork in everything. Your toothpaste, your laundry, your soap, your deodorant, right? Your candy, right? Man, they Esau is, is wicked. He puts uh all this all this fagness on, on, on TV so your kids think it's okay to be gay and don't and, and don't want to worship the most high. Legalize weed so Jake wanna get high all day, right? Put a liquor store in a in the hood, right, to, to ease Jake pain, man. Right? And, and and so Jake could get drunk and high and, and get killed and, and beat up by the police all day, man. So they could say he was just a drunker. He was a crackhead, right? Stumping your ass out, right? And he shall magnify himself in his heart. So Edom, man, oh, this is the best country in the world. We're the best nation. You know, I, I'm a CNA and um I hear one of my um one of the one of the so called when the so-called white women is Edomite, she said, um, we're the dominant race. The blonde hair and blue eye. You didn't know that? How the hell are you the dominant race with your you can't even survive in the damn sun, but you're the dominant race. Right? Come on now. So Esau magnify his magnify himself in his heart. Because he has not got judgment yet from the most high. Right? And by peace shall destroy many. So I said this before. Esau will go into a land, right, and, and say, "No, we just want peace. We just want to work something out," and then destroy many, 
right? By his vaccines, by his GMO foods, right? By his by his war. Oh, oh they, they don't want to follow this policy. All right, we're going to go to war then. You know, we're going to threaten them with a the military. Bring some tanks in. Show off the show off the airplanes. Let them know that we rule the sky. Let them know that um that a tank can roll up in here and blow this whole shit up, right? That's what Esau do, man. Why he's taking your guns and your oil and and everything your land got and, and and taking it for himself and 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 these other countries is getting nothing. That's that's what Esau do, man, right? Come come in the name of Christianity and the name of democracy, America the Great, and take your shit, right? So lock you for my language, man, right? But that's what Esau do. Right? Let's go to the book of Obadiah. All right, so I can bear with me. Ava! Bring my book that's on the table. Okay. Right? So let me get the book of Obadiah real quick. While I wait on my daughter to bring my, my apocrypha. The book of Obadiah, chapter 1 and verse 18. In the house of Jacob shall be a fire. In the house of Joseph, a flame. In the house of Esau for stubble. The house of Joseph is talking about the northern kingdom. Thank you. I'll be out there in a second. Get him a pamper real quick. Right? A Joseph, a flame. In the house of Esau for stubble. And they shall kindle in him and them and devour them. Right there on the, on the window. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. For the Lord has spoken it. Right. So this is judgment from Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. Right. This is judgment on the nation of Edom from the Most High. Right. He just pretty. He just said, man, the 12 tribes is going to be a flame and a fire. But Esau is going to be the wood that you throw in the fire, man. Right. So um, then the Lord say, Israel is my battle axe. So we we gonna hew them down, man. And it's as simple as that. There is no saving the nation of Edom, you know. So why didn't they get it? They the Lord has set them up from the beginning, man. They're that wicked ass nation, right? The book of Edris chapter two, the book of Second Edris chapter six and verse nine. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, right? So Jacob is the beginning of the world that followeth, man. And we gonna have this. We gonna have this kingdom forever. Right, since I got my pocket from bring out them old precepts, right? Through the spirit, book of Daniel, chapter 2, and verse 44. In the days of these kings, shall the yeah, uh, for Salaki, and in, in the days of these kings, shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed. And the kingdom shall not be left to other people, but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms, and it shall stand forever. Right? So this kingdom that's next, that 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 the 12 tribes got, guess what? It's going to stand forever, man. And we're going to break these nations in pieces, man. Absolute pieces. It's going to be, man, it's going to be beautiful, man. If you got ears to hear, it's going to be beautiful. All right? So let's get that in the book of First Maccabees real quick. That's an important precept, just in case brothers don't got a pocket for with them. You know, I wanted to bring it out anyway, so I'm gonna bring it out. You know, man's going and out of his own, right? First Maccabees chapter seven and verse, um, and uh, chapter one, so I can verse seven. Chapter 1 and verse 7. So Alexander reigned 12 years and then died. Alexander the Great. Right? And his servants bear rule everyone in his place. So Alexander, this is the reign of the so-called white man. Right? The so-called Romans. Right? And we know the so-called Romans grew to be who? The uh, Spain, Britain, Portugal, um, um, the British, the French. Right? So Rome... Right, the so-called white man, Rome, and, and his dominion, that's when he started gaining rule over everything, you know, the persecution of the Roman Empire in 70 AD, you know, because Israel was going off, you know, then overtook the land, right? So, in the rule of the so-called white man, right, and his iniquity, right, he started taking rule and started getting dominion, and he had dominion over the whole earth, man, right? And his servants bear rule, everyone in his place, and after his death, they all put crowns upon themselves, so that their sons after them many years and evils were multiplied in the earth. 
And we read before, right? When you get wicked, when um, what was it? Uh, First Samuel twenty four and thirteen, as if the proverb of the ancients, wickedness proceeded from the wicked. And we know the Lord called them the border wickedness in the book of uh Malachi chapter one and verse uh four, right? Uh, verse nine. And after his death, they all put crowns upon themselves, and so did their sons after them many years. And evils were multiplied in the earth, right? Not in the land. You know, not in their home, in the earth. Why? Because they 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 started to gain rule over the whole earth, man. Right? That's the Lord. How the Lord set it up, right? The Lord set this last nation up to be the best nation and the strongest nation to destroy it, to magnify His name and to free Israel out of the glass captivity, man. Right? So with that, I'm gonna give a call, Allah, to Yahweh, by Hashem Hamashiach, Kum Lak Yahweh Shai. You know, I'm gonna give a shalom to the strong brothers out there, sincerely pushing His truth. You know, the sisters out there staying diligent, you know, reading and being good wise, right? Shalom.